Making sure all your cameras cover all the necessary spots of your monitored site can be very challenging, and a mistake could lead to missing important information when you need it most. Thankfully, 40 Central supports a very powerful and easy to use tool to assist in the creation of 3D maps that will greatly heighten your ability to efficiently and thoroughly monitor your site. 3D maps allow you to upload floor plans of monitored sites to create three-dimensional models that provide a detailed overview of camera locations and help in quickly accessing video feeds from any established monitoring site. In addition to camera locations, 3D maps display the horizontal and vertical viewing angles and depth of field of every camera to make sure you never miss a thing. In this video, I'll provide you a thorough guide on how to use the 3D maps tool so you can perfectly replicate your monitored site. Let's start with importing a basic floor plan to act as a guide for our 3D map creation. So there are two ways we can do this. We could simply upload a floor plan we already have by going to Settings, 3D Maps, and then selecting Load File, and our map. Alternatively, we could select Browse Web and use Google Maps to find our location. Once we have our site, select Capture Map. Move the image to your ideal view angle, and then select OK. Now obviously this won't provide us an internal view of the site, but it can at least assist in the outside perimeter and provide a sense of scale. When we have our floor plan uploaded or captured, it will appear in the 3D map section of the control panel. Simply select it and drag it to a pane. Select Enable Edit Mode from the Settings button of our map pane. We can navigate around this map by using the left mouse button to select objects, the right mouse button to rotate the view, and the middle mouse wheel to pan or zoom in and out of the 3D map. So with our floor plan uploaded, let's start creating our 3D map. We're going to create a simple wall, so we'll select Edit Walls. To start drawing our map, select the end point of one of the walls from our floor plan. Each time we left click, we create a point and a new wall. So with this simple room completed, we can now press the escape key to stop adding points. Now we can adjust the wall height and the thickness of the walls with these sliders. Notice how it changes on the 3D map. Now what if we messed up? Then we created a wall that wasn't quite right. Well, all of these yellow dots are called points and we can select any of these points to manipulate the wall. So left click and hold on any point and move the wall to your desired location, like so. There, now our wall fits perfectly with our floor plan. We can create new points by selecting the wall and then holding control and selecting where you want the point inserted. I'll create one here because I want to create a door later. But this point was a mistake and so I'll delete it by holding control again and selecting the point. So let's continue making our layout. Simply select the previously made point and left click to create a new wall. It's the exact same as drawing the other walls, but here we can start from any of our already created points. Now that you have a good understanding of how to create walls, let's jump ahead here to a finished 3D map. There is a problem here. We have no doors and no windows on our map. So let's add some now. To add a door or window, Select the wall that contains the opening, and then hold Control to add new points on either side of our window or door. Once we've done that, we'll simply select the new segment between those points, and then select Enable Opening on Selected Wall Segment. Alright, so to really do this feature justice, we should pitch our camera to get a good view of our alterations. The lower we bring the height of the slider here, the lower the top frame of the door or window descends, and the higher we increase the distance from the floor the higher we bring the bottom. So let's make this a door and keep the distance from floor at zero. Now we'll head on over here and do the same thing and add a couple new points. Select this section and now we'll make a window. It's pretty much the same as creating a door. Repeat this process for the rest of your 3D map. So with the physical layout of your 3D map all finished, Let's just quickly take the time to go over changing the visual look of your layout. Simply select the wall you want to edit, and then over here, we can change the color or texture of the wall by using the sliders or the color wheel. Once you have what you want, select Change Color. 
Once we're finished that, we can start adding important elements on your map, such as your security cameras, and then customize their view to better reflect your real world environment. So to add a camera, select the settings button in the 3D map pane, select enable edit mode, and then select edit cameras and elements. We can just drag a camera type from the predefined models down below. Alternatively, we could also drag a camera from the device panel. Either way, aside from the ceiling dome camera, it's purely cosmetic, but the visual can help with organization. Now let's change the properties of the camera. If we pitch our view here, we'll have a better angle to see our changes. I know this camera is at the top of the wall, so let's select the height button and hold it while we adjust the camera here. There, perfect. Now we'll just quickly relocate the camera using the position button. There we go. And I know this camera points in a different direction, so let's change that too. The viewing cone here isn't as large as that, so I'll decrease the horizontal field of view using the radial buttons here. And then I'll change the tilt of the camera using the tilt button. When we're finished, let's select the camera view button. This is a great tool because now I can see exactly what the camera sees. So if I want, I can pick up the camera's actual view in another pane and try to replicate it by using this view. Now I'll just repeat this process for all our cameras and jump to a completed 3D map with our included cameras. There, all done. With the walls all completed and our cameras on the map, let's add a few extra elements. I'll add our security guard Frank. He's always in the lobby and he doesn't really go anywhere. To do that, I just scroll on the models panel here until I find the person model and I drag and drop him onto the 3D map. It's as simple as that. And like the cameras, I can adjust his parameters within the 3D map. You can add your own textures to elements by selecting the add button and then a supported file type. Our 3D map is completely done, although we can do a bit more tweaking to make sure it's perfect. We could add sectors, which are save views from different angles on the 3D map. So a sector, for example, could be your monitor cafeteria or your lobby. We could save an area on your map as a sector and then monitor that 3D map section in a different pane. To create a sector, select the settings button in the 3D maps pane area and then select enable edit mode and edit sector. Now we can get the perfect view on this 3D map of our sector. Give it a name and then select add and save changes. And that about wraps it up. You should now have a thorough understanding of how to create your own 3D maps in 40 Central to best suit your security needs. Thanks a lot for following along. Be sure to give this video a like if you found it useful. Have a great day.